So in today's how to basic build, I'm gonna be showing you how to build this barn. This is the barn I use in my Soldier Adventures world. A lot of you have asked for a tutorial, so hopefully you will enjoy. <laughs> Hey guys, if you're looking for the cheapest games on Xbox Live on the internet, check out G2A in description and use the code ECHO for discount. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo, and welcome back to another episode of my How to Basic Builds. Now if you're new around here, this series is where I show you how to build basic things in Minecraft that can easily be done in survival. For example, in the last episode we built this, which was my Soldier Adventures house. It's very easy and simple to make. This takes you around about half an hour to do, even in survival. Obviously you need the resources, but it was pretty much the likes of uh, oak wood, Bruce and of course just a whole bunch of cobblestone and glass as well So yeah, if you missed that episode make sure you do go and check it out because today for you as you all should know We're gonna be building the stable from soldier adventures now this stable It's a very old design and I've used it for as long as I can remember. It's an awesome and simple design We're gonna be using the likes of oak wood planks. We're gonna be using oak wood or oak logs We're gonna be using fences Spruce wood stairs, spruce wood slab, fence gate, stone bricks, birch wood planks, and of course glowstone. You can change these if you want to. You can use different alternatives, but this is what I'm going to be using in this tutorial. So we're going to start off from, we're going to go this way and then work that way because it'd be a lot easier. So to start off with guys, this one is very simple. So hopefully you do listen carefully and follow quickly. Uh, feel free to pause the video at any point. I think in the next episode, I'm going to be building the lighthouse from Soldier Adventures. So make sure you do check that out in case you don't know what I'm going to be doing next time. So what we're going to do here is going to go one, two, we're going to go up three, go up three like that. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go one, two, three, and then we're going to go one, two, three. And then we're going to leave a gap of three again, so that'll be one, two, three, and then on the fourth one we place this. This is just so I have a rough idea where we're going to be working from. It's going to be like this, and obviously you'd walk straight into there. Uh, and of course we're going to do exactly the same here, so you can see how wide it's going to be. This is just a gap of three. Um, keep it a gap of three because it's just easier to work with. So a gap of three there, and then of course one, two, and then three. That's how that works. That's very simple. So we're going to be working from the sides to start off with. So what I do here, we're going to be doing six of these, so it's going to be one, two, three. And then we're going to go one, two, one, two, three, and then we're going to go one, two. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this six times. This is how it's going to go six times all the way along there. So we're going to go one, and we're going to go one. Let me just make sure that's right. Yep, yeah, four. One, two, three, four. Another one. That's the second one we've done. One, two, three, four. Another one. That's the third one. One, two, three, four. And then another one. One, two, three, four. Ooh. Four. And then another one. And then one, two, three, four. And another one. Let's just see if we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. That's in total. We're just doing six because that way it's big enough to hold around about, I think it's 12 in total that you can hold for horses and you can always make it bigger if you wanted to. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're doing it this size. And then obviously fill in all of these. Uh, we're doing exactly the same on the other side as well. So just do this very easy all the way up. And I'm going to do exactly the same on here as well. So just keep it in sync. I like to keep things symmetrical in all of my builds. Like all the time, I like to have things symmetrical because it's easier to work with. That way, you know, you're exactly copying what's on the other side uh, and then just doing exactly the same here. So as you can see, and this sheep is rather annoying me. Go away, sheep. All right, like that. Then we're going to go one, two, three, and then again, and I'm going to leave one, two, three, and on the fourth one, and then we're going to one, two, three, and you can see, you can see how easy it is. I'm gonna go up on all of these as well. Just go up on all of them, just so they're all level. You know what level you're working at. Um, but the only, the hardest thing about this, guys, the hardest thing about this build is collecting the things that you need, such as the materials. That is the hardest thing there is. Apart from that, it's super easy to do this. It would take you around about, I would say, around about 40 minutes at max. That's what I'm, I'm saying at max. In fact, you don't need to do any of them there. We're just gonna, we're just gonna box this off like this one. And then we're gonna do exactly the same here like this. As you can see, it's exactly the same. It's easy, it's simple, and it works. It really does work. In fact, what I'm gonna do here, guys, is I'm gonna go one more there and break this and go one more there and then go like this. So you have a little bit of a bigger entrance there. Um, so I do apologize for that. One little simple error. Go up, go up an extra one on the, on the fronts of them. So I'm gonna just do this. It's gonna go do, 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 and then do. And then do, and then do, 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 do. Oh, oh, we're making making things a little bit difficult for ourselves. And then again here, 
and again here. So this is the this is the hardest bit. It's just the tedious bit. This is the the most tedious bit about this build, and I cannot wait to get into the inside and show you guys how it works. So just do it all the way around like this, guys. And oh no no no, we're not doing it there. What we need to do though is we need to go up an extra one, and an extra one, and then go one two three. It's just three inside. Cover this here like this, and then do exactly the same here. Do do do, and then do do do. Do, I think this is a little bit too big this one. No, it's not. Just do the same there. And go do do, do do, do do. I probably should have skipped ahead doing this, but hey, you guys you guys get to see all of it, how it works. I know I'm doing this in creative. I probably should do it in survival, but it would take a little bit longer. And for the sake of a tutorial, I don't really need to show you in survival. I'm just gonna show you in creative. All right, so that's pretty much the basic of this done. It, that's, that's the basics done. Very easy, very simple, and very effective. All right, so the next part that we're gonna be doing is going to be the, um, the, the whole front, the front side, the front side of this. So we're gonna be working one off it. By that I mean it's gonna be like one off it like that, but we're not gonna be putting it there, obviously. Uh, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna, for just for a basic remembrance, I'm gonna go one, two, three, and then one, two, three, just so I know where about I'm working from. I'm gonna do exactly the same on this side as well. You can do the same if it's easier for you guys to follow, but we're gonna go one, two, three, oops. Break that and I'm gonna go one, two, three. That way you can work with the guidelines. So I'm gonna bring this off by one. And when I say off by one, I said I'm gonna do it like this, you see? That's because it's just so much easier if you do it like this. So build it off by one, cover the whole roof like this, all off by one. Uh, just do it, just do it for two layers. So I mean like come to this layer and do it like this from this point. Don't go any further because otherwise it'll make you really confusing on this tutorial. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just do this like this. Do, 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 do. Do this all the way. Just do a few layers like this. Just so you can keep. You can always change it if you need to. Um, but it's best off getting the basic layers done. We'll work on the inside in a second. I want to get the outside done and completed before I show you the rest of it. And that's the only annoying bit is that you you seem to place some of them exactly the same like that again. Do 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 do. Do this on both sides because we're gonna have it overhanging because that way it just looks a little bit more professional and it's it's kind of like this the way it's hanging off there as well. Uh, it's just easier to work with. All right, let's get rid of this all the way, all the way down here. Uh, one, two, three, four. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do I'm going to go to this side and do exactly the same on there, and then I'll be right back. All right then, so welcome back. So the next part we're gonna do is we're gonna do two on here. We could have used stairs here, but hey, it's not really too much of a big deal. We're gonna use, we're just gonna fill this one up by two as well. So do two layers up by two. It's gonna be like one, two, one, two, and then we're gonna go up again. On each side, it's just very simple to do. Break this. Um, so yeah, go two by sides like this, again, all the way down. I, I won't skip this time, I'll just show you exactly how it works, because then we can work from this layer to the next layer, uh, obviously like this, all the way, all the way, all the way. And then what basically what's gonna happen is we're gonna we're gonna work it all the way up here, and then we're gonna, we can break this one if you wanted to, but I, I'm not gonna confuse you guys any anytime soon, so. Just, just do the two layers like this. I'm gonna do this like this. Um, the two layers, they, you could have used, you could have definitely actually have used stairs here, but hey, it probably would have saved a little bit of time. Apart from that, it's not too much of a big deal to worry about. Just place the blocks in, inside like this. Uh, I'm only using spruce for the roof because it, 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 I don't know, it cuts up the, the different blends that you've used. All right, so you can, you could have used stairs here like this, but it's not really, it's not really too important. Uh, and I'm gonna do another one like this, and I'm gonna do one, two, I'm gonna go like this again. So you guys can see exactly how this goes. Um, again, uh, in fact, what I'm gonna do here, just to save time, is I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab uh, a spruce, one of these, I'm just gonna quickly get rid of that for now, and we're just gonna do it like this, because it'd be a lot easier if I just do layers like this. Um, yeah, it'd be a lot easier if I just do layers like this, because otherwise I'd be worrying too much about messing up, and I don't wanna mess up, so I just wanna just do another flat layer like this, and do it on both sides, like that. And then of course, do exactly the same over here. She's just gonna be like, do, do, do. In fact, what did I do here? I can't entirely remember, I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, it was just one there, and then we went up on an extra one like that. So they're gonna go up like that, you see? As you can see there, it's exactly the same, and of course, exactly the same like that. And then, we're just gonna fill in the insides again. So fill all these in one more time. I think this is the last time that we need to do. Uh, filling in this side, just with spruce, I'm gonna do one more on top of there. So let's just do this, and then do this, and then we're gonna go one more on top of here like this. Uh, do it. So it's going up in different sections, kind of. That's the only way you can explain it. It's just the tedious part of doing builds is probably the roof. The roof takes a very long time. Uh, and for this one, I think we're gonna just gonna go like this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this. 
I'm gonna break this, and I think we're gonna have it like this, just like this. It's gonna be slightly different from mine, kind of slightly different, not too different, and it's gonna be like that. That's how I'm gonna have mine uh, for this build. It's it's pretty much exactly the same as mine, but I decided this looks a little bit better. Yeah, it probably does, and obviously here we're gonna go like this, like that, so you guys get to see how that is. So it's simple, easy, uh, and then obviously you can have it hanging off like that. So that's how that's gonna go. All right, so do exactly like mine. Um, do one more layer on here again. I, I keep saying layers because like we're doing constant layers here, but this is all you need to do all the way off. Again, constant layers and obviously you need layers on here as well. Um, but we've done this layer here. What I need to do here is go down to this. We're gonna use uh, another one of these because again, a lot easier than using um, slabs. So just do one more. In fact, we didn't even need the stairs. Oh, oh yeah, we do we need it for the top layers. That's about it. Uh, I thought we could we, we might need it a little bit more, but we don't. That's simple, easy. I'm gonna break this. I'm gonna break this, and just so I remember, we're doing it like this, and then like this, and then of course we're gonna have that on there like that. And then let's let's just finish this build here, just placing these down. And the next bit is gonna be the stairs, and then obviously you're gonna do the roof. So if you guys have a rough idea what we're gonna do, skip ahead so you guys can get it done a lot quicker. The stairs are the most tedious bit because they, you have to pl place these very carefully. Otherwise, they mess up and you have blocks going everywhere. And no one wants to have blocks all over the place, especially in the building because it takes so much time. Uh, let's just quickly try and speed this up so I can get this quickly done and out the way. Come on. All right, ooh, this, this build's a lot easier than, than last week's build um, because the house, you have to make sure it's perfect. With this one, you can kind of just go along with it and, and see what it ends up like. So let's just go like one here. Here and of course one there like that and then let's do this. Ooh, and the next bit we're going to be working on the inside. The inside's the fun part because you can spice it up and make it as good as you want. You don't have to do the exact copy of mine. Um, I'm guessing you're watching this because you want to build the stable and everyone's asked me about the stable, so I thought let's just do this uh, or the horse barn, whatever you want to call it. It's up to you. All right, keep going. Oh, another one here. Oh, another one. Oh, placing blocks everywhere. See what I mean? Talk about placing the blocks in the wrong way. Uh, there, there, and there. And then the last bit for the outside is the roof. This is all it is. That's how simple it is. That mine's slightly different. I did mine more square, um, but I like this design a little bit better, and I wish I did it like this. But as you can see, that's how it, that's how it basically looks. This is how it basically looks. All right. So what I can do now is I can get rid of the. Uh, this, because you don't need any more spruce. What you're gonna do, guys, is gonna fill in all the windows just like this. Not gonna have windows as in glass, we're just gonna fill them all with um, fences. Fences are easier to work with. And plus, they may cost a little bit more than glass, but, ooh, that's the wrong thing. You could, hopefully when they introduce new colors, you could also do black if you want from the nether um, ones, but hey, if you wanna save your adventuring time for other things, I suggest this, and as you, ooh. Now you finish this bit here, as you can see there. That's how it looks, looks wonderful. All right, so let's work on the inside. What I want you guys to do here is we're gonna go one, two, three, and obviously we're gonna go to here, which is gonna be four. So you're gonna be going to four on all of these. Every single one, top and bottom, on every one, we're gonna go for one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna do it on all of them. So you can fit a lot of horses in here, like a lot of horses. I think it is 12 in total, possibly a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more. Is that right? That's right. This one's right. Um, so do exactly the same here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, I think that's too many. No, it's not. That's right. That's how it's meant to go. Yep. One, two, three, four. You could do three if you wanted to, but four, it just seems more logical. That way the horse has more room and you have to, you have room to get on the horse. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right and then go one, two, three, four. And what I did guys on mine is right here and all the way down the bottom down here, I had a crafting bench there because it's a lot easier. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill these in with this just because it's, it just looks better. Fill it in with your fences. One, two, three, four. Three, four. Of course we've done it there. And I go one, two, three, four. All of these in fours, one, two, three, four. It is just four, 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 four. four. And then go one, two, three, four. Oh, four. And then obviously one more here. One, two, three, four. All right. So what I did here is I had one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Because these, these, we had two of these like this, exactly like that on all of them. So I'm going to quickly place these down, and then we're going to work on the rest, the floor, and the roof, um, or the inside of the roof, should I say? 
We're going to be using the likes of um, this, and we're going to be using stone bricks as well. So there's a, there's a slight different combination in that we're going to be using here. So there, there, and there, and there. All right, and then we went do 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 do, which is obviously the fence gates. They're easy to obtain as well. Um, so it's just a lot of woods, a lot of different types of woods. Kind of like a medieval one. You could do a modern one if you wanted to, but I find I find this is just so easy to do. You have no problems with this. Uh, and I'm just going to open them all for the sake of this because they just look a little bit better. I'm not going to put any horses in mine, so don't panic. I'm going to waste my time taming horses in this tutorial. As you can see, done. They're all done. Very simple. All right, so before I go any further, I'm going to be doing the roof here because we need to brighten it up a bit. So what I did here is up here, I just covered this with... Um, with fences, this one, this one to be specific, um, because we worked with uh, glowstone. We worked with a bit of glowstone here. So what I did, let's just do this, and then let's go. Well, let's do exactly the same on the other side. It's kind of like a different style plan here. Um, all right, and what I did here, I think I did it like this one, and then like this. Yes, it was. All right, so I did two, and then another one, then go one, two, and then obviously on the third one, we go like this. So we've got gap one, two, three, 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 oh, that's a bit too close, three, oh, and again, one, two, three, that's again, and then go one, two, three, and like that, that's how it goes, and then just fill this in with glowstone, this will brighten up the place, and look, I'll, it'll look fabulous, it will, it really will look lovely, uh, one there, one, oh, one there, one there, on there. As you can see, that's how it looks. It just it's, it's very easy to brighten it up and it brights up the whole place. Alright, like I told you, here's a different design. Hello sheep, you interested in my design? Um, break out all of these, like all of it, all of it, all of it, all of it. We're going to be using stone, glowstone, and of course, we're going to be using stone bricks. So break off all the middle, all the middle, all the middle, all the middle, all the middle. This is not hard at all to do, it shouldn't take you too long. So break all of this off. And then what I did here is, like I said, I am going to grab a crafting bench. And where is the crafting bench at? Where is it? There it is. Grabbed one of these. I'm going to switch it with uh, the fences because we don't need any more. So crafting bench here because in case you need to change anything, it's easy to do. Um, and this, this is all going to be stone brick on both sides. Stone brick, just a lot easier and effective to use. So stone brick, stone brick, stone brick. One of them there. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. And I've just broken that. Oh, well, that can go there. And then this was exactly the same here. I forgot, we do need to add stone. We work with stone too. And of course, one, two. What I'm going to do here is go one, one, two, 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 one, one. And then you can just do one. It doesn't really matter if it doesn't match up. If you want it to match up, feel free to change it or extend it by one if you really wanted to. But ooh, what I need to do is grab some stone. So I'm going to switch out the stone for the crafting bench. And obviously the last gap is just fill in these. One, ooh. I'm going to go one, two. Ooh. They're normally meant to be exactly the same. However, it's slightly different. Oh, well. One, two, 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 one. And then obviously in here, guys, I slightly changed it. And what I did is just, I literally broke out everything inside all of these. Um, like this. Just broke out all of these. And I had it like, um, I think it was oak. I think I had oak because it was a little bit easier to use. I think I used oak. If I didn't, then I can't remember. I used I used it like this. And what I did here is I did a little square section of just this. Like this. So every single one looked like that. So I'll be back in a second once I finish this to show you guys the finished product of the barn or the horse barn. Whatever you want to call it. All right then guys, so welcome to the finished product of Inside the Horse Barn. This is how it looks, as you can see there we've used oak and we've used birch because it looks good, it looks magical and keeping them all closed. If you really wanted to guys, in each corner, different styles, just add just add horses, um, hay because obviously your horse is going to be in there for a very long time until you use them. So it's always good to have your horses keeping them fed, well fed, but this is a very simple and easy tutorial guys, you shouldn't have any problems at all. If you do, be sure to let me know. This is what it actually looks like from outside, this is how it looks, it looks wonderful, it's easy, it's effective, it's simple. So if you guys did enjoy this video and you would like to see the lighthouse, let's try and smash 500 likes, that way I'll bring you a bonus episode super quick, super quicker than the last episode. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Bye!